M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Just looking at radiovision.com's site, and they've got some information here on the ICOM IC705 TX modification. So I thought, well, why not? I just uh, put it on my channel. I definitely highly recommend this is done by a professional workshop, um, and you can damage a radio um, attempt in this. Uh, also check your, your ham license, if you have a ham license, check that what you're allowed to do. But otherwise, here's some pictures here. So it says here, to expand the TX frequency, the diodes D921 and D935 uh, from the diode matrix on the back side of the main unit need to be removed. And so it shows them here, uh, removed. I'll double check with the photograph, but it's in... Uh, Let's just back a little bit and look at so we can see both pictures. So it's the second row down, second one in here, and the last one here. So if we look at the one here where it's been removed, I would say it's second row down here and here. I'm sure this looks a lot smaller when you actually do it. So let's go to the next picture. They won't let me get. It won't let me select the next picture, but you can see here in the red square. So have a really good look, pause it. Um, and then it says here it remains open in the following frequencies. Remarks, no power output at 70 megahertz. That definitely needs to, uh, you need to think about that. So let's just go further down here. TX mod for 5 megahertz. Saying you just remove that one. Again, I don't recommend any of this. I'm just giving information out on my on my channel. So that's for that. And let's have a quick look at the 7300 one. So again, you're getting a nice clear uh, diagram here. Explains to you what to remove. D4505 to open 5 megahertz. To get RXTX here, remove 416 and 4-1, where is it, is it saying 4-1-9, well that's saying that stays in, so that must be in, must be in, so only do what your license allows, so that's what the unit looks like, it's letting you know there where the, you know, the matrix of diodes is, let's have another look at one, let's have a look at the uh, 9700, Mod, remove, bottom, take out the screws, da-da-da-da. Again, it's telling you exactly what to remove there. Oh, let me click that one. Have a good look. I'll put the link in the description anyway. Then a more close-up one here. And then it shows some frequency coverage and the USA. So I think it's interesting, people out there want to do the mod for the 9700, 7300, 705, they're really determined. Uh, this seems like good information. I'm sure there's lots of videos on YouTube. So thanks for watching, 73, all the best.